We were privileged to have Roger Gass with us, who is from the National Weather Service office there in Monterey, California. And uh, Roger, we appreciate you being on with us today, first of all. Good afternoon, everyone. Roger, do you hear me? Yes, sir, I sure All right. can. All right, I apologize. Roger, uh, just a little debriefing here because, uh, again, we've been talking about El Nino for a while now. Uh, the first of all thought was everything was happening in the Pacific Northwest, maybe not so far south, but now it looks like the trend may be a little further to the south. What's your feeling about that? Well, you know, this, this week so far, we have started to see the storm track shift a little bit to the south, and that is more associated with a typical El Nino event. Um, again, this is not El Nino itself, as, as most of you meteorologists know, but these storm systems are, are turning the more characteristic of what we would see in an El Nino event. And we're expecting uh, rain to continue through the night hours, and uh, a series of systems continue to impact the region uh, through the rest of the week. Roger, you know how we are as the media. We have to label everything. So uh, this being, uh, you know, talking about El Nino, what, what's the difference then? If this uh, doesn't have El Nino written all over it, tell me what the difference is for the public out there. Well, you know, uh, much of the, the San Francisco Bay Area has received several rounds of storm systems uh, over the past few months. But most of those dove down from the northwest and that started off in the Pacific Northwest and, and brought a lot of cold weather to the San Francisco Bay Area in areas on the East Coast, we're seeing record warmth. So those were typical, uh, you know, systems that were coming down from the north and, and giving us rainfall. These are coming in more directly from the west and southwest, which is a, a little bit more typical of that jet stream, you know, shifting further south into Southern California and bringing a series of systems in, into uh, Central California. So what are your major concerns at this point? In the short term, uh, you're concerned about what? Well, our major concerns right now are going to be uh, heavy rainfall, uh, across the Bay Area again uh, into the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning during the commute. It looks like uh, some of the heaviest rain will be moving through the area, similar to what it was this morning. And But right now, most of the ground is saturate, or you know, absorbing a lot of the rainfall. But the more and more systems we get and the heavier rainfall that we do get, we're going to start seeing problems of landslides possible and uh, debris flow possible. And, of course, those typical urbanized areas in the, in the metro uh, that get that start to get a lot of water on the roadways when, when you know during the commute hours. More or less, you've been in a drought for about four years now, four or five years, something like that. Is this going to help? This definitely will help. Anything that we can get is going to help. And if we can continue to just get, you know, storm system after storm system, and and not dumping too much rain too short period of a time, we'd appreciate that. But uh, overall, this any any rain that we get uh, this winter or season, we will take. There in the Bay Area, do you have uh, do you have any sort of uh, uh, feeling about whether or not I mean, do the mountains, the snow in the mountains, do you count on that at all there in the Bay Area? Most of our our water resources do come from the mountain, so the snow impact and the snowpack across the Sierras are, are very important to us. And so far this season, because of the colder systems we had come through, they've actually seen some uh, really good snowfall across that region with with snowpack currently a little bit above average in many locations uh, on, on, you know, on an average. Um, so again, this system is not putting out as much snowfall and maybe at a higher elevations versus lower elevations. Right. But regardless, we're getting the rain in our reservoirs one way or the other. Excellent news. Thank you very much, Roger. We may check back in with you again. Great information and thank you for joining us today here on Weather Nation. Thank That's you. Uh, Roger Gass from the uh, National Weather Service office there out of Monterey, California.